Exactly so. 7 o'clock, right? Yeah, but I'm sure it's up. It's whatever. We'll, we'll figure right. it out. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let me, hold on, let me just log in, take okay. care of this. All right, so what do we get? The romance. Uh, but what constitutes a romance film? Well, I could do it funny or I could do it straight. We could do a period piece. I mean, you have no, options it's here. it's got to be about realism. Realism. <sighs> realism. You're right. All right. Realism. I got an idea. Now, you heard from Ron and I that we're, uh, we picked romance this year, and that's, that's, that's pretty exciting, I know, but uh, you know how we like to put a little twist on the genre. We're having a hard time picking the female lead, so uh, it's going to take... A lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, and whoever gets the role really has to be 100%, 100% into this role. Complete and total dedication. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since we only have one shot to do it right, is we're gonna do screen tests. How do you know these guys? Eric and Ron? Yeah. Oh, well, they met me. Actually, um, Uta Hagen was in town, and I had just come from seeing Uta, and really kind of refreshing all my training that I'd had, and I, you know, Stanislavski, Uta, ugh, that, I mean, they're why, they're why I am who I am, and... Who are what? you? I'm sorry, I just, I realized... Uh, oh, yeah, I should have introduced myself. <laughs> I'm Janice, Janice Fulton. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Lisa, nice to meet you. Lisa, nice to yeah. meet you. I'm Bobby. Uh, right. But people call me Lipper. Lipper. Isn't Uta Hagen dead? You think you know exactly what it's like. You think you do. You think, of course, this woman sitting alone in a cafe, you think you know everything about her. Did, did I tell you that I went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art? Well, anyway, one of my professors there who was quite fond of me, I'm not sure if it was because I reminded him of Julianne Moore, I mean, a young, a very young Julianne Moore, but of course, um, Julianne Moore doesn't quite have the training that I do, but uh, a, a beautiful lady, for sure, and I'm honored to be thought of that I could be her very young sister. <laughs> you think, of course, a woman in a cafe, you think, you think you know everything about her. If I get this role, no, <laughs> when I get this role, I'm going to take it wicked seriously because you have to, because it's life. Well, I mean, it's not really life. It's like pretending life, but it's real pretending. You know exactly what it's like. You think you do anyway. You think, girl in a cafe, right? You think you know everything about her. Sometimes I, even just thinking about Wisconsin, I start to like lapse into my old accent. My sister, she's like, oh my God, all the time. She says it all the time. It's really funny. It's kind of nice to not be in the uptight environment of always having somebody waiting on you hand and foot. Uh, I like the more simple, more simple film life, I think. I could get used to that. All I wanted was a love of my own. And I'm left with a smashed plum lodged in my rib cage. Oh, God. Because you know how they say, like, everyone needs their break? Like that one, you know, oh, now we know who this person is. And, and then you get to be in the magazines, and then you get to answer all kinds of cool questions like what's your favorite role, and what's your favorite color. But you don't know a thing. Not one thing. I'm sitting here alone, and all I can think about is him. Him! Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You now, know? as you come back home, do you immediately start talking like that and it's no break? Because if I didn't, it would be like pretentious and I'm not pretentious. It's easy to just fall back into it. Oh, yeah. Really? 
Oh my god, tell me about it. <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> He's the one I love. And there are other wonderful things I could be thinking about. I could name you a million other things I could be thinking about right now, but... No, oh I'll... And all I'm left with is the longing. The longing. It's, it isn't like anything else you can imagine. This longing that... I can't begin to describe to you. It's like nothing else. This part here, um, a little more down to earth, a little less dramatic. My grandmother always told me, if it doesn't work, give it a shake. And that's what I tried to do in there. How did I possibly find you? We're finally together. I'm so happy. You know, you hear people say they're so happy they could die, and, and it's just the worst line, you know? It's so fake, it sounds like the terrible cliche, but... I feel it. Do you know what I mean? I found you, and I get it. Love, how did we get so lucky? So what do you want to do with the rest of the day? Check the cheese.